Hello all of my darling divas and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I've been a little bit in my A for the past week or so, but my schedule for the holiday was crazy, okay? So, I am back here today to do just a simple, fun little video about reflection of the year 2015. As you guys know, we're counting down to our last couple days of 2015. So, I decided to come up here and do this little tag video where it asks you questions based on your year so you get to reflect on different moments and different things that happen to you for the whole entire year. I believe that reflection is always great especially at the end of the year because you get to see what you've been through and what you learned and all that other good stuff. So um, it's just going to be a really fun simple video and I actually was inspired to do this video from Shirley B. Yang. She is a YouTuber from the UK and she is simply fabulous. Okay you guys like she is everything. So whenever I watch her videos, I just always feel like extra fabulous and just extra everything. And this video really inspired me to sit down and reflect on my year. So it was a series of questions. I have them here on my phone. And so I'm just going to go through the questions, answer them to the best of my ability. And I will leave um, the questions down below if you want to answer them. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but the quality here is looking better, girl. Yes, Nomad's Plus got a brand new toy, and it is the Canon EOS Rebel T5. So, we got a DSLR camera up in here, yo. So, I'm just really proud and excited. New things are coming to Nomad's Plus. The visual is looking clearer. My hair is new. We'll talk about that as well. And okay, yeah, let's just get into it. Question number one is most embarrassing moment of 2015. And excuse me if you hear a lot of noises in my background. There are a lot of people in my house and there's construction being done to my house. So I'm going to try my best to talk over the noise. But just in case, I just want to let you know. So, most embarrassing moment of 2015. Hmm. Well, I'm going to say this, that I'm naturally not a person who gets embarrassed because I'm a reserved, shy person, so I don't really put myself out there like that to be embarrassed. My shy level has gone down a lot over the years, but for the most part, I am pretty shy, so I don't really like, go out and do stuff for me to get embarrassed because being embarrassed is definitely a, a, like a fear or a phobia of mine. I think nobody likes to be embarrassed, but there was this one time a couple weeks ago, actually, I was at work. I just got to work was rushing in there and um, I was wearing a, a skirt a really short skirt but I would I like so I had to pull it down so I'm like ripping and running because I'm running late for work I walk in there I take my coat off I'm walking around the store doing my stuff and then I walk past the mirror and I see that my skirt is like pulled up now luckily there was nobody in the store and my boss didn't see it or, I, or at least I hope he didn't see it but like you could see my tights like I've like I'm just happy that I had on tights that day because if I did not have on tights you would have saw my drawers and honey if I did not have on drawers you would have seen a lot that you did not need to see so I just like quickly pulled down like oh no and it was embarrassing for me because I just kept thinking like what if I did not have on tights like what if today was not cold because you know December been acting up so what if it wasn't cold and I didn't wear my tights girl I would have been out here looking I would have been showing people a little bit more than they needed to see so I quickly pulled it down and, and like the whole day I'm just like pulling down my skirt praying it doesn't happen again when I have customers and whatnot. So I pretty much vowed to never wear that skirt again to work. <laughs> and that was really embarrassing for me because I just kept thinking like what if my boss saw my tights and what if somebody was in there and saw my tights. So luckily I dodged an embarrassing large bullet but it was still embarrassing to me because I was like girl you need to check yourself and slow down and wear a better looking like a better length skirt to work. Leave that short stuff for the club. <laughs> but that's my kind of sort of embarrassing moment. Um, biggest accomplishment of 2015. Hmm. Um, I would say my biggest accomplishment of 2015 um, has just been, especially, this, this is actually pertaining to the blog. Here on the blog, this is the most consistent and most like the most that I've posted on the blog this year I'm really proud of everything that I put on the blog I was looking at my blog archives and I saw that this year I posted the most blog posts that I have ever posted in the years that Nomad's Plus has been existing so this year I was really on myself to be consistent I was really on myself to produce like great videos and stuff like that so you know I know my videos and my content can be better but they are the best for what I have 
like for the resources and tools that I have. So I'm very just proud of my blog. It has come a long way and this year it is definitely, like I feel like I challenged myself more this year. Every series I put out, I completed. Um, I challenged myself with the Icon series where I did a little dancing, did a little lip syncing for my life. Okay, so I'm just really proud of the different kinds of things that were created and formulated for the blog this year. That is definitely my biggest accomplishment. I was really like, I'm really on myself with being consistent here on the blog, which is why I'm always apologizing a billion times when I'm not here for a week, because I really want to be up here every week. Um, but for the most part, I didn't miss a lot of weeks. I didn't miss a lot of blog posts. I was really on myself to create a schedule. I stuck to it. So, biggest accomplishment of 2015, no minus plus and my consistency. Shout outs to y'all for motivating me to be on it. Um, bloopers of 2015. I don't have a lot of bloopers, but I will insert blooper reel here if I have any that I can find. Until then, I love you. I love you. So until then, I love you like the tater tots. I'll see you all next week. Oh, I, I love you like the tater tots, and I'll see you soon. Best memory of 2015. Best memory. Hmm. Wow, there's like so many. So what's the best one though? Okay, my best memory of 2015 has got to be when I finally went to see Chris Brown. You guys, I am a very big Chris Brown fan. I don't know if you guys see my, my phone case, but my phone case is the royalty album cover but I'm a really big Chris Brown fan and so I've been trying to see Chris Brown for years but every time I tried to go see him something went wrong so I got the opportunity from Groupon shout out to Groupon to get $30 tickets to go see his concert near you know near my house so I brought the ticket and I was finally able to see Chris Brown August 26th, August 26th at the PNC Bank Theater in Homedale New Jersey and it was just a wonderful experience because I really don't get to go to concerts. So I was there with my sister, I was there with my cousin, I was there with one of my sweetheart sisters who I'm really close with. So it was just a good experience to just finally see him in concert. I cried like a big old baby. I'll be sure to insert the little video Instagram clip that I, my um, my sister, my sweetheart, my sweetheart sister took a um, video of me when he first came out. Girl, I was like, uh, I was screaming for the gods, okay? That's <laughs> baby daddy so you know um that was definitely my biggest like my best memory of 2015 was to finally see Chris Brown in concert and I know that I have a whole bunch of other meaningful memories that happened to me this year like I also went to CurvyCon and I went to CurvyCon and I met all of my favorite bloggers and I got to spend time with my aunt that was another best memory so but definitely like summer I guess summer 2k15 because my whole summer was just lit like my whole summer was just filled with a lot of memories. It was filled with just a lot of people that I love. I got to bond with a lot of people. I got to spend time with a lot of people. So I guess like 
definitely seeing Chris Brown in concert and definitely going to KurviCon. Those are my two best memories of 2015. Definitely. Biggest obstacle of 2015. Um... My biggest obstacle for 2015 was definitely my weight and my um my progress with my weight loss. I've been on a, oh, I've been on a, a serious weight loss journey for the past three years. This being the third year, so I started my weight loss journey in 2012. Um, and so it's been a fluctuating up and down battle. And so you know, just learning about what works for me and my body, and we're, we're and wondering about you know the things that I like to do and trying to basically just keep on a consistent schedule and a, and a consistent diet and exercise plan has definitely been a obstacle and a challenge for me um and you know I, I'm getting better with it you know definitely uh, I took a more serious action I took more serious action in my weight loss by joining a program with my doctor so that's going really well and it's really working out with him so I think I just needed a, another, you know, somebody, a professional to step in and help me out. But that was definitely my biggest obstacle because in the beginning of the year, I was like, just like not losing any weight. And I was just like, you know, I was definitely hard on myself. You want to do something, but sometimes you get discouraged and sometimes things happen. So with me, I was definitely beating myself up. Like you need to be doing this, you need to be doing this, but I wasn't and, and, pertain, and pertaining to my weight loss. And I, and I even started a weight loss, um, segment here on the blog with Curved Maintenance and I pretty much gave up on that because I was like how can I give somebody advice and tips on healthy living if I'm not living a healthy life so it wasn't until the beginning to the middle of the year like you know like June I was like okay if you're really serious about the weight loss thing then start to invest in it so start to you know go to a program help you out and take the you know take the weight off yourself like not even in terms of pounds but the pressure and the need to lose weight so quickly like take your time with it do it the healthy way do it the awesome way and if you need help ask for help so that's what I did and so now I feel better but it was definitely a challenge this year um, and so you know I'm definitely happy to report that I'm doing better with it and you know losing weight is a big deal for you if you know if your mental isn't right and sometimes my mental isn't right with it so I'm happy that I'm living a healthier lifestyle with my body and with my mind so definitely was my biggest obstacle um regrets of 2015 well I don't really have a lot of regrets because I feel like regrets are learning lessons and I know that sounds like a hallmark card but I'm so serious like I don't regret anything because if I didn't do what I what I did then I wouldn't be who I am right now and today but I guess my biggest regret of 2015 um, was not doing certain things that I did this year sooner like taking chances and having fun and just doing stuff like that but then again you know I took a lot of risk this year but I think it was meant for me to take risk this year instead of previously before so I guess um, okay yeah that was basically all about my regrets for 2015 my camera cut off on me so I'm trying to figure out where I left off and I think I left off at starting about talking about my most memorable phrase of 2015 well I have a lot of phrases a lot of things that I like to say they change all the time they're inspired by different things that I've already heard and I think that some of my most memorable phrases of 2015 have been um, like chow and honey. Definitely lately it's been, um, what is it? What was I, what have I been saying lately? I know it's not, I know you lying. Cause I know I watch a lot of Super. If you, if you watch, um, Super, if you watch Super Scent, not Super Scent. If you watch Super, with Zan Super on Instagram, she says, I know you lying, her and her son. Um, but, um, the lies you tell, which I got from Tamar, I say the lies you tell all the time, okay? And I'm not sure if that's not something that I have started saying, if I've been saying all year, but I know I've been saying it lately, because I've been having friends of mine mock me when I say it. The lies you tell, mm, I say that a lot. But I have a whole bunch of fun little phrases and quirky little things that I say all the time, and it's always changing, but the lies you tell, honey and chow, have definitely been the most memorable ones of 2015. Um, lessons learned from 2015. 
Um, I would say my biggest lesson that I learned from this year was not to settle. And that means, and that goes for every area of life. Don't settle if you don't like something happening in your job. Don't settle if you don't like something happening in your relationship, whether that be love, like a love relationship or friendships. Don't settle for any area in your life. Um, a lot of, you know, for a couple of years, I've been settling for different areas in my life. And so I've learned that I don't have to settle. This doesn't have to be my life. I don't have to accept this unhappiness as life. You know what I'm saying? Switch it up. Change it up. If you don't like something, change it. Do something different. And tweak it until you are happy. Because I was definitely settling for a lot um, that I didn't need to be settling for. You have to know your worth and know what you're better than. And that's in every aspect of my life. My career, my relationships, um, just even simple things like if somebody got my order wrong at Wendy's. I'm going back in Wendy's and getting my right order. I'm not going to settle for this wrong order just because I don't want to bother, you know, management. No, I'm about to bother management because I ain't order a junior bacon cheeseburger. I ordered a 10-piece nugget. I ain't about to go home and eat a junior bacon, a junior bacon cheeseburger and I want a nuggets. I'm going to go back in and get my nuggets and I'm not going to settle for the wrong order. You feel me? So, in that aspect, not settling. You know, I have taken a lot of risk. Like I said, a lot of risk in my personal life and my career. And I'm definitely happy that I wasn't settling for the unhappiness that I felt last year. You know what I'm saying? Last year was an okay year, but this year I definitely vowed to make changes, permanent changes in my life. And I definitely have and I feel better. And, you know, I, I wake up every day and I feel a lot better about, you know, my life and everything that's going on in it. Um, so yeah, not to settle. Biggest life lesson I've learned um, this year. Favorite mainstream slash non-mainstream YouTubers in 2015? Well, um, I'm always finding new YouTubers and always finding like about different um, people on YouTube, both mainstream and non-mainstream. I guess mainstream is like famous and non-mainstream is not famous, but I guess it depends on who you consider to be famous on YouTube because all of the people that I watch have a lot of followers and a lot of subscribers, so I figure they're all mainstream. But definitely the people who I've been watching like forever here on YouTube for the whole year was definitely Shirley B. and Yang, who this video is inspired by, Gracie, um, Gracie Victory, or Gracie Francesca. I've been watching her, um, her vlogs and her videos because she really inspires me because I hope that my career can take off like hers. Um, Jayla Corian over at the Glamaholic, her vlogs are lit, her videos are everything, so I've definitely been watching her, as well as the rest of the soup, uh, of re as as well as the rest of the YouTube sisterhood, Raven Elise TV, Ashley D Beauty, um, Lakia Star, and Vicky Logan. I've been watching all of them very faithfully this year too. Um, let's see, I just got into KCK Official. Um, and she does a lot of great story times and her vlogs and her and her boyfriend are so cute So I've been watching her like I just got obsessed with her like last week um, Also, I love Aaliyah J. Aaliyah J is somebody who is flawless. Okay, she is flawless and fabulous and she is just Everything so I definitely have been obsessed with her so those are definitely a list of people who I have been obsessed with here on YouTube I'll be sure to leave a link to all of their um channels down below and also in the blog post if you want to check them out and become obsessed with them too but those people I've been typically obsessed with like whenever there's a notification for their videos I am on it and watching their videos like as soon as it comes out so yeah I like I've definitely been digging them top beauty products of 2015 really really okay um I am grabbing things on my table things that I use all the time okay um hmm why would you ask me this I don't I change up stuff all the time people um well for starters if I can find it here on my table of mess if you guys could only see this okay I guess it doesn't want to come out and play um definitely my favorite um one of my favorite items from this year is my um, HD set for getting rich. I've been using this to powder and set my contour and I really like how my contour comes out since I started using this. So this is definitely a product that is my favorite this year. Um, also another favorite of mine is the um, Supersizer Mascara from CoverGirl. I got it in the curl box 
and it is amazing. This mascara is the bee's knees. This is definitely one that's my favorite beauty product. You will find that all of my favorite beauty products are either from drugstore brands or they're from beauty supply store brands because honey, coins, coins, okay? Another favorite beauty, another favorite beauty product of mine, let me slow down because I have a tendency to talk fast. Another favorite beauty product of mine is the Nivea face cream. I have ranted and raved about this face cream like pretty much all year. Um, and I especially ranted and raved about it in my Beauty Basics um, series, the first video, which was all about prepping and cleansing your skin and moisturizing. This is like the best moisturizer for your face ever. Um, Nivea has good face products. Another favorite of mine is the e.l.f. Expert Liner in Black. Um, this is really amazing, gives you a very sharp, you know, wing liner. I really love this product. And I was, oh, here it is. And we're going to end it off here with my um, Kiss Ultimate Cover Stick Foundation. This stuff is amazing, okay? I'll be sure to list all the products that I just talked about in the blog post for you guys as well. But honey, when I found this, I had just brought a new package of this actually like Sunday, this Sunday. And I don't, like honey, this right here is everything. So... Those are my favorite products that I've been using all year, but mostly recently, like as of the summertime, but pretty much all year. And the last question is goals for 2016. Um, my goals for 2016 are pretty basic. Um, just to continue to live a happy and wonderful life, surround myself with happy and wonderful people. Um, get my blog where I want it to be, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely working on building a studio, so, you know, lights and backdrops and all that, so that's definitely a goal of mine for 2016. I also want to graduate. I am graduating from college this spring, so I'm definitely excited about that, so that's definitely a goal. Um, just to keep leading a happy, wonderful life is what, is what my goal is for, for next year. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always says new year, new me, but I always say new year, better me. I always strive to be a better person and a happier person than I was yesterday. So I don't even wait for January 1st to be better. Um, but definitely my goal is to be happy. And I've been pretty happy this whole year. 20, 2015 was good to me and I hope that 2016 will be even better. But 2016 will have to really give me a run for my money because 2015 was bomb, okay? bomb.com but yeah definitely to be happy to build my blog to further in my career and to just you know just do me and to be the best person that I can be so that is it for this video ladies like I said if you want to answer any of these questions or do this tag I will leave the com I will leave the questions for this in the description box down below shout out to Shirley B and Yang for doing this video and inspiring me to do it as well um, I'll be sure to come, I'm coming back up here on New Year's Eve to do the last blog post for 2015, which will be like a countdown of the top 10 moments here on 20, here on Nomads Plus. I do it every year. It used to be top 10 outfits, but now it's top 10 moments. So I do it every single year, so I'll be coming back to you guys with that. And that will conclude for our last blog post for 2015. I'm excited for a new year. I always get excited. My birthday is next month, so turn up. Let's do this. And... <laughs> Um, yeah, you guys, so this, that's going to be a regular post with no video, so I guess this is the last video for 2015, so I will see you guys in the new year. Be sure to come back here later on this week for the next blog post, but as far as video-wise, I won't be talking to you guys until January of 2016, so I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I hope you guys had a wonderful, fabulous Christmas, and I hope you spent it with the people that you love. So I'm signing off here. I love you like my tater tots. Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in 2016.